Okay, uh, before we move on here, I want to go over an operation called blend. It's a blend operation and also talk about brush strokes, uh, adding strokes to a, a path to make it look more organic. Um, let me show you. This is the fish that I drew before I started these videos, okay? And um, these stylized uh, rays or spines, I guess you would call them, are made with the blend tool and also by uh, putting a, a calligraphic stroke on the lines. So before I proceed with the uh, instruction on how to complete the fish, I want you guys to follow me along and I'm going to go over the, the blend tool and go over how to add these like organic calligraphic strokes to them, uh, to, the, to your lines. So uh, we're going to just doodle first. I want you guys to do this with me. So go File, New, and make a new uh, file. 2000 by 2000 is fine. Any size will do actually. First, let me demonstrate the blend tool, just in, in really simple terms, only using straight lines. So hit P for pen tool. Just click and let go. We're not making curves. Click and let go. Just a plain old ordinary line, nothing fancy. Hold down the Command key or Control key on the PC, and the, the um, selection tool will come up so you can deselect. OK? So I got this relatively long, fairly long line here. Up here to the upper right, I'm going to just click let go, click let go, hold down the command key to deselect. So now I got two lines, a long one and a short one, and they're not parallel. With the black arrow enabled the selection tool, I'm going to make a marquee selection and select both lines. Uh, sometimes the white arrow doesn't work because You'll, you might like, if you select only a point and not the entire line, it'll get all messed up. So make sure both lines are selected. Now click on Object, Blend, Make, and it'll fill up, it'll blend, you know, it'll go from the long line to the, the short line. With that, all that stuff still selected, um, you can click Object, Blend, Blend Options, and the, the main thing you have to be concerned about is specified steps here. There's other stuff that we might go into later in the semester, but spacing, specified steps, you can experiment with that. I had it up to 12. If I change it to 6, click OK, then we only have 6 steps. Um, object, blend, blend options. Do not put a huge, huge number in this because it does take up RAM. Okay, so like don't get crazy with this. Let me go back to 12. Click OK. Alright, so that's my blend. Um, if you missed that, rewind and look at it again. Now the thing with this, um, this the paths that we drew are editable. These intermediary paths are not. So let me show you something. Okay, so let me use the the direct selection tool. I'll select this line. I can grab this anchor point and if I smoosh it in, the whole thing smooshes in. If I change the angle of it, the angle changes. So you can get these really cool looking uh, effects like this. Let me put it back where it was. Now let me go Shift C and enable the um, anchor point tool. Click on a path, and I can make it bendy and curvy. So now we got bendy, curvy, and it goes into a thing. Now sometimes this weirdness happens. Uh, I don't know, like how else to explain it. Um, if I don't know why the blend tool will interpret this as a partial line. I don't. I have no idea. So you, you have to be uh, careful with that. So let me try this, and that's working pretty nice. So the blend tool, um, 
you have to experiment with it like i said like let me see if i can break it again yeah see like some of these curves that are so I, to be honest with you i don't know why the blend tool cannot interpret those inter those intermediary curves i don't know so like as you're working with this for the fish drawing it's easier to do what i just did just use straight lines then use the anchor point tool to adjust so you get this nice blend um, that's one thing we're going to be doing with the fish. Again, if you missed that or if you don't understand it, go back and uh, watch the video again. Now, here's another thing I want to do, though. I want to add a nice organic stroke to this. Okay, this is all well and good. It looks interesting, whatever. It's blending well. But they're just, uh, you know, pretty boring looking lines. Let me hit the selection tool. I'm going to make sure I select both this path and this path. I'm going to apply a brush stroke to this to make it look more organic. And the way I do that is I'll go to Window, Brush Libraries, Artistic, Artistic Calligraphic. And this palette will come up. For our fish drawing, we're going to use a lot of this three-point flat. So let's see how this works. And again, I tell you in advance, sometimes these strokes do not interpret well through a blend. Let's just see how it goes. And this one worked. Okay, so that's cool. So if I deselect, you can see like there's this nice organic quality to this. Um, one more thing I'm going to talk about with um, these calligraphic strokes or any brush stroke that you use you can select them and you can change the width of these pretty easily but in order to change the width of a stroke the brush tool has to be enabled it's a little bit confusing so hit B for brush tool both things are selected and this little brush icon comes up on the keyboard next to the letter P is a bracket key if I hit that bracket key the strokes will get thinner if I hit the close bracket key which is just to the right of it next to the the forward slash on the keyboard the strokes get bigger so I'm gonna like you can read let me review this this entire process again I'm gonna hit command and deselect P for pen tool make a line, hold down command to deselect, make another line, whoops, wrong. okay, that's cool, two lines, black arrow, I'm gonna select both of these guys, they both must be selected, object, blend, make, I can go to blend options and change the intermediary steps if I want, using the I'm going to deselect and uh, with a white arrow I just want to select one of these guys shift C anchor point tool I'm going to experiment with this to make sure none of my lines get goofy and everything is looking beautiful there okay so that's wonderful remember some of these will quote break unquote with a blend tool. Um, I really can't tell you why. Selection tool. I'm gonna make sure this guy is selected and this guy is selected, okay? This stuff cannot be edited in the middle. Only these two guys that we drew can be edited. I'm going to go to my calligraphic palette and I'm gonna choose let's choose five point flat and see if that works. And it did. It still looks great. Suppose I want to increase the width of these guys. I hit B for brush tool and I get the brush icon. Both are selected. The brush icon is active. I can hit the bracket key next to the forward slash to increase the width. Hit the bracket key next to the letter P to decrease the width. Maybe a little bit too much to digest, so. Um, Rewatch the video to understand that process because this is what we're going to be doing to make those uh, 
these rays on the fin here. So we're going to be doing that process I just described in this video to uh, continue to work on this drawing.